Hey, it's Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Today, let's talk about Glynax supplements and whether or not they can slow down your rate of aging. You may not be familiar with Glynax, but I have a feeling that as the research comes to light, you're going to be hearing a lot more about this dietary supplement combination. So let us begin our discussion by talking about what the heck is Glynac. Well, it's a combination of two non-essential amino acids. They are glycine and cysteine, and in supplements, they, a supplement for cysteine is usually called N-acetylcysteine. So you see the what Glynac comes from, Glynac. It's a combination of glycine and and cysteine and in supplements and acetylcysteine. So both of these are non-essential amino acids and by non-essential I mean your body usually makes all the glycine and cysteine you need, although in some instances perhaps you might need more. So why is it being used? Well, Glynac can raise glutathione levels. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant compound that we make inside our body and as we get older we tend to make less of it. So how does Glynac actually work? Well, the idea behind aging, and we don't really understand why people grow old, but two prevailing theories out there is, is that as we get older, there is an increase in free radical damage. Sometimes this is called oxidative stress. And also there's problems with the way the mitochondria work. As we get older, our mitochondria, those powerhouses of our cells, they don't work so well. And the combination of these two things result in a lot of crazy things happening as we get older, such as there's an increase in cellular inflammation. A lot of diseases are linked to an increase in inflammation. There's also an increase in insulin resistance. That's one of the hallmarks of type 2 diabetes. There's a loss of muscle strength. We don't get as strong as we are older. We lose muscle strength. That's sometimes called dinopenia or sarcopenia. Our blood vessels, they get hardened. They don't work so well, which again could lead to not only heart disease, but also dementia as well, including Alzheimer's disease. So there's a lot of stuff going on in aging, as you can imagine. This is just a few of the things. But what does the research actually say on Glynax supplements? Well, we begin our investigation by looking at this study, which is hot off the presses, came out in 2021. And essentially the study looks like this. We've got eight older people, they're in their 70s and 80s, and they're given glycine and N-acetylcysteine supplements for six months, 24 weeks, and they're compared to eight younger people who did not take any supplements at all. So what happens? Well, well quite a lot actually. These researchers show that after six months, their glutathione levels go up by about 200%. Their T-bars go down by about 75%. T-bars are an indication of oxidative stress, free radical damage. There's about 50% reduction in CRP levels, CRP or C-reactive protein. That's a blood test marker for cellular inflammation. Insulin levels go down about 55%. Blood sugar levels drop almost 10%, about a 20% reduction in muscle breakdown. That's actually very interesting. And a 4% reduction in fat mass, although no weight loss was seen. So pretty interesting stuff overall, but wait, there's more. The Glynax supplements also improved memory. On every memory function test, Evaluated in this study, they all improved with the supplements. In addition, the people walked faster and they appeared to get stronger. And by, by stronger, I mean their grip strength, their hand grip strength improved. That's sometimes used as a test in the lab for how strong people are getting. So their memory improved, they walked faster, and they appeared to get stronger. All pretty interesting stuff. But there's a few problems with this study. Number one, it's a small study. Only eight people are involved. There is no placebo group. And for my taste, I would have liked to have seen a group that only received one of the amino acids to compare Glynac to only one of the two that are being used. So overall, pretty interesting results are being seen in this study, but this is not the end of the conversation. This brings us to this earlier study, deficient synthesis of glutathione underlies oxidative stress and aging and can be corrected by dietary glycine and cysteine supplementation. So again, what's going on here? Eight older adults are given, are given basically glycine or NAC, Glynac, for two weeks. They're again compared to eight younger people who did not take the supplements. What happens? Again, 
the Glynex combination, glycine and N-acetylcysteine, raises glutathione levels in their cells by 95%, and the synthesis, the production of glutathione, increases by a whopping 231%. This also corresponded to a significantly reduced free radical damage oxidative stress inside their cells. Really, really neat stuff. And not the end of the conversation, now we have this study. Again, an earlier investigation, glutathione synthesis is diminished in people with uncontrolled diabetes and restored by dietary supplementation with glycine and cysteine. So what's going on here? We've got 12 older adults. They all have type 2 diabetes, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. In other words, their A1C levels, their hemoglobin A1C levels, were about 8 to 10, if I remember correctly. They're given the glycine and N acetylcysteine supplements for only two weeks. What happens? Once again, glutathione levels increase by 64%. The production of glutathione increases by almost 200%. Really good. However, these supplements did not appear to compensate for the fact that their diabetes was uncontrolled because their levels of glutathione and the synthesis was still less than younger people who did not have type 2 diabetes. Overall, however, the fact that it did increase the levels again is very, very interesting. I do want to point out that one of the issues, however, is that, again, small study, yeah, but they used people with uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. So medications didn't appear to be working, which is why their A1C level is going higher than it should be. I would like to see this study replicated in people whose diabetes was better managed. And then once again, I point out that I would like to have seen a study where they only got one of the two amino acids in the Glynex supplements. And I'll talk about that in a second. So that brings us to our pros and cons of Glynac as I see them. Number one, studies do exist. I just showed you three of them. There may be others out there I missed, and I know there will be more in the pipeline based on the research that I just showed you. And then the other thing that I want you to keep in the back of your mind is that both glycine and N-acetylcysteine are not expensive. Do not pay a lot for these supplements because I have a feeling there's going to be expensive ones coming on the market they don't have to be expensive. I will link to the brand of supplements that I think will work best for people in the description so you can begin your investigations for yourself to get you started. And then as for cons, I do wanna see bigger studies of 50 or more people. And then my other con I would say is, is glycine and N-acetylcysteine better than N-acetylcysteine by itself? There are lots of studies out there showing that N-acetylcysteine supplements alone will raise glutathione levels. Yes, there is also research that glycine is also needed for glutathione production. My big question is, is the combination of glycine and N-acetylcysteine better at raising glutathione than N-acetylcysteine alone? I'd like to see that study. If it comes out, I'll do a video on it. So there you have it. There's a 10,000 mile view of Glynax supplementation. If you've tried these amino acids, let me know what happened in the comments below. I'll be really interested to hear what you got to say. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.